Hi everyone, my name is Mallory Lass and I work at the Stephen A. Cohen Military Family Clinic at Easter Seals, serving DC, Maryland, and Virginia. I am the outreach manager there and today I'm here to share with you how to make a vision board. Vision boards are very helpful when considering goals and thinking about our futures, which is really important considering this year has been a year. So when thinking about your vision board, it's really important to get a blank piece of paper and start thinking about your goals first. So what do you really want? That's a good first question. If that doesn't help, think about what do you need and start writing those goals down. It's good to prioritize those goals so that way you know what's really important to you. Because once you start writing, you might find yourself with a ton of goals, health, fitness, travel, maybe that fancy new car that you want. Once you've started to think about your goals, that's when it gets really fun and exciting. Get all your fun old magazines and start finding the pictures, the photos, the words, the affirmations that mean something to you and cut them out. I found a really neat quote from Oprah that is perfect on this topic. She said, you want to create the highest and grandest vision possible of your life because you become what you believe. So that's why we're creating vision boards. If you are starting to focus on what you believe and putting that belief and that goal and the energy out there, the idea is that you're gonna attract that energy to you. So we wanna start putting that energy out there. So start seeing your goals in front of you every day helps you set your focus on those goals on a daily basis. It's a good exercise to take that blank piece of paper and write those goals first. So try doing that. Don't restrict yourself, write it all out. As I said, if you're struggling, start thinking about what your needs are and then prioritize your list. Again, what are you gonna need today for this visual board activity? You're gonna need an empty canvas. Any size will do. Um, you're gonna need some glue. So that way we can glue all of those fun words, pictures, and things onto our vision board once we find them. You're also gonna need some markers, pens, fun colors, so that way we can add to our vision board once we get everything added to it. You're also gonna need some scissors because we're finding some incredible fun pictures and paintings and images to pull out of our magazines. Um, magazines, of course, tons and tons of them, as many as you can. Um, if you don't have a ton of magazines, you can also print from the internet. That works as well. There's also some wonderful websites that allow you to make a vision board online. How cool is that? Um, you can also, so yeah, that's all that you need. Some other things that you can consider looking for in addition to having pictures is finding the right words, quotes, and affirmations for your vision board. I want you to think outside of the box for your vision board. If you wanna add something that you can touch and feel to your vision board, feel free to do that. This is your vision board. This is your dreams, your goals, and your focuses. I want it to be yours and authentically yours. Once you complete your vision board, it's important to choose a location in your home that you're gonna see every day. I want you to be able to regularly see your visions, see your goals, see your dreams, and work from them. You should be able to visualize it often and regularly focus on your goals. Here's a vision board that I completed earlier this year that I wanna share with you. So it can be anything you want. As you can see, I did add a 3D touch. And this is supposed to um, symbolize my friends and family that I was with when I created my board to remind me that they are there with me but your vision board can be anything. I love to travel and health is important to me. I put this up next to my vanity where I get ready every morning. And honestly, looking at this every day for the last six months, 
I've already started saving money. I've already begun working out and working on my health and fitness. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to travel as much, but because I'm saving money, I'm already starting to plan on that when I'm able to do so. So make your vision board whatever you want it to be. There is no right or wrong answer to what a vision board should look like. And vision boards should never be something that you forget or ignore. Like I said, put it somewhere that you get to see every day and reevaluate it regularly and adapt it accordingly. You can add things to it or create a new one as often as you would like. You can also focus it on one thing. So if I wanted this to just be about health and fitness or just about travel, I could do that. This is your vision board. Make it as specific as you want it to be. And remember, goals and wishes change often. So don't hesitate to change your board based on your needs. Um, and once you achieve your goals, do it again and dream bigger. Thank you so much and I can't wait to see your vision boards. Please share them with us on our many different um, Cohen Veteran Network pages or on the CVN websites or on Facebook. Please share them with us. I'd love to see your vision boards. Again, my name is Mallory Lass and I work at the Stephen A. Cohen Military Family Clinic at Easter Seals. Thank you so much and I hope you have such a fun time creating your vision boards. Remember, dream big.